Why does the ESPN Plus have a bigger budget uh, boxing-wise than ESPN? Let's talk about it. We back, Goodfellas Sports TV. Let's get right on into it. Um, obviously, you know, ESPN Plus didn't have a ton of boxing followers, okay? Not a ton of people came over to ESPN Plus boxing fans and filled up to subscriptions, even with the deep um, boxing uh, library they got of old fights on there. Not a ton of people came over to the ESPN Plus app in the boxing community. Only the ESPN Plus app took off when the UFC got put on there and the UFC fans came over there and they happily played $5 a month to be on the ESPN Plus app. Okay, and then, you know, when UFC got in full rotation over there, they announced their subscriber base that jumped to 2 million plus. Um, obviously, a lot of people say, well, ESPN is invested into boxing and Bob Irma pushed push that narrative, but I don't think I don't think they're investing in boxing. I don't think they want to put boxing on ESPN. That's why they smack it to ESPN too, smack it to ESPN News. I don't think ESPN has a deep interest in boxing like Bob Irma said is like it's the way of the future. I think their interest in boxing was for ESPN Plus app. They wanted the ESPN Plus app to launch to put boxing on there. That was going to be their play, not ESPN. You see what I'm saying? The whole play was to say, okay, let's 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 kind of feature the content of boxing on ESPN, but then we're gonna take all the all the ESPN uh, 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 boxing fans to the ESPN Plus app. I believe the ESPN Plus app was a was a gateway to the. I mean, ESPN boxing on ESPN was a gateway to the ESPN Plus app, in my opinion, for to get fans over there and for UFC. You know, eventually, I think that was the plan. But I think it did so well that they said, you know what, you know they got to pay that five dollars to come over here free first month. And the UFC fans flocked over there for UFC since it wasn't on Fox no more. They had no problem paying five dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? That's just how how it went. The initial thing was okay, let's launch it. Let's get the boxing fans over there. Let's put some 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 college games over there. Let's give them a variety of content. But eventually, I believe the 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 the, the main home for boxing was always to be in the ESPN Plus app. This was the plan for the beginning. When Bob Arum left HBO and went to ESPN, remember before he went over to ESPN, it was talks of top rank launching their own boxing channel, like Box Nation in the UK. Remember that talk? That was the talk of the town. You know what I'm saying? It was about Bob Arum launching his own boxing channel. They paired with ESPN. He said, everybody going to be able to see everybody on ESPN. It's accessible. It's better than HBO. It's better than Showtime, even though their numbers would never be what HBO numbers was at its peak. Five to ten million viewers a, 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 a night, Saturday night for Boxing After Dark. It'll never be that again, okay? But, but I think that was the play to put it on this app the whole time. That was the play. That's why the ESPN Plus app has a bigger budget. That's why the ESPN Plus app has a bigger budget because they want to do, I'm going to say they probably want to do 70% of boxing on the ESPN Plus app and the other 30% on ESPN. I think it's going to be three tiers. We're going to ESPN pay-per-view, obviously kicking off with Amir Khan and uh, Terrence Crawford. ESPN and ESPN Plus. I believe ESPN Plus is going to be where the majority of fights happen for uh, boxing. Then I think your, 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 your popular fighters that Bob want to put on there, not even the best fights, how it should be, but your popular fighters, like his, his Hispanic fighters, he want to put them, Lomachenko, all his Hispanic fighters and the fighters that he love the most, he wants to feature them on the ESPN. on ESPN, And then everybody else for the most part, and some of the Spanish fighters will, uh, and Hispanic fighters will be on, and Latino fighters will be on ESPN Plus from time to time, but he really wants to feature them on ESPN. And then ESPN pay-per-view is going to be, if they have any marquee premier fights, or they deem, you know, fights that can't fit in the, in the ESPN Plus or ESPN budget. But what it should be like is, okay, his top rank bum bashes should be on ESPN Plus. Okay, your Corellas, Lomachenko's, your Crawford, Benavidez, those type of fights should be on ESPN Plus. Your premier good fights, you know, the fights that that everybody will want to see, maybe like a Valdez and a Josh Warrington or a Crawford Kine or a Lomachenko, Richard Comey should be featured on ESPN. And then your, your, your premier fights like a Fury Wilder should be on ESPN Pay-Per-View or Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. Or some of that nature. That's how I should really play in the perfect world. 
But that's not how it's going to play. I appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can reach out to the email if you got business questions, inquiry, responsibility, or DM me on social media. Uh, don't forget, we got a Facebook group. You can check out the Patreon. Uh, check it out. It's real cheap. The link's in the description, $2 a month. In addition to that, um, just keep looking out for us. You want to make a donation to the channel, that link's in the description. Continue to share, share the videos. I appreciate everybody for showing love and uh, blessing with your viewership. I'm going to be a little bit more active, about to kick off some more videos. Possibly a live stream, ton of boxing, unwanted boxing on the night, so we'll be covered.